Many people find that convertible debt is an attractive way to, to raise financing. Rather than to sell equity, when the value of the company is lower than they like to go to market and they don't want to give up so much equity ownership and dilute too far, they prefer to take convertible debt. So what does debt convert into? Well, you borrow the money and then it converts into equity at some future date. And there are terms associated with this conversion. The uh, lender that gives the money to the company might say, I would like to convert all of my debt. Let's say it's a $100,000 note or part of it, maybe only $50,000 I'd like to convert into stock at the then current price. That is a future price when you offer equity next. So if the, the price is a dollar per share in a couple of years and the debt hasn't been repaid, then it could convert into equity at a discount to that dollar per share. And maybe the debt holder would be able to buy in at 90 cents or 80 cents per share. So discounts are commonplace in convertible debt. Um, another feature that appears in convertible debt is a valuation cap. And that means that if your company goes wild and it's, it's wildly successful and we started with a valuation of a million dollars and it's suddenly 50 million, then my convertible debt is going to turn out to be a very tiny sliver of that $50 million valuation. Well, I don't like that very well. I would like to have a bigger share. So I want to set a cap or a ceiling on the valuation of that company at such time that I might convert. These are important features to uh, convertible debt so that I'm happy with the way I invest my money. And uh, that's a, those are all negotiated features to the terms of the debt between the, uh, the company and the, the offerer of the debt. But you've got to think about valuation, dilution, and uh, the ultimate valuation cap or ceiling that might be put into place when you uh, offer convertible debt.